Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today I am bringing you my first druid montage for Dark and Darker. For those that don't know, my channel started with D&D. I am having an absolute blast with the current patch and druid is amazing. They truly are the masters of stealth and assassination, even more so than rogues. Solo queuing into duos or trios is pretty fun on this class. Being able to surprise gank someone out of nowhere and then turning it into a 1v1 versus their teammate leads into some pretty enjoyable games. Even after the nerf to ratting through windows, the speed a druid can move around the map is also pretty insane. Once you get good with rat form druid, it's probably the single hardest class to kill in the game. I can live through some pretty insane fights, reset, and then come back for some easy snipes. Quickly going over my build, this is what I prefer for perks. I'm running Enhanced Wildness, Shapeshift Mastery, Thorn Coat, and Force of Nature. Since my playstyle involves a lot of stealth kills, I am avoiding the auras that have a visual effect. Onto forms, the three I primarily use are Panther, Rat, and Chicken. There are some fun bear builds, and it does have its place. There are just so many places where bear struggles to move, or you just don't have the space to shapeshift. These are the spells I prefer to use. Nature's Touch, Thorn Barrier, Summon Treant, and Entangling Vines. With my fifth slot, I add Restore. I try and always make sure I have enough knowledge to make sure I have all five spell slots. People sleep on Thorn Barrier, but it has led to me getting some pretty hilarious kills. It's much better in teams though. For solo play, you are mostly just assassinating people in Panther mode. For maps, I tend to prefer Goblin Caves. One, it's just better for PvP in general, which is what I prefer doing. The other reason I prefer this map though is it's the least toxic for using rat form. The frost map has so many archers with aim hacks that will snipe you out of rat form. Crypts is a minefield of traps and death, but it's fine once you learn the two maps. In general though, I much prefer goblin caves for PvP right now. For gear, this is what a standard loadout looks for me. I prio agility as much as I can, Panther scales insanely well with agility. With a high enough agility, you start two-shotting most mobs. You can get agility on every single slot but weapons. In this montage, most of my kills are done with anywhere from 32 to 42 agility. If you are interested in a more in-depth druid guide, leave a comment down below and I'll spin one up if there's enough interest in one. If you are watching this video the day it came out, I am probably live streaming Dark and Darker right now. Come hang out. Thanks for watching and enjoy the montage. Thank <laughs> you. 